What's up gamers? Uh, this is my second RTSL game, currently 1-0, and we're playing against Glenn Fermison as the Soviets, my preferred side. And we're doing one hour, so let's hope for uh, a good opening hand. Maybe some Red Scare blockade combo would be nice. <clears throat> well, I like seeing five-year plan. Um, okay, so independent red, so let's do Austria. Put in my hand. So, right off the bat, it looks like uh, Europe scoring Red Scare or Captured Nazis would be good headlines. Um, Red Scare, not as exciting with uh, Purge being unavailable, or uh, Blockade being unavailable. Europe scoring, you know, could always give it away to five-year plan uh, if they take Dom. So. Maybe no need to do that, and we could do Capture Nazi Scientists, and that leaves us with a lot of ops. Red Scare leaves us with a lot of ops to coup Iran and, uh, you know, try to score Middle East for even. Um, but if we did Red Scare Purge then we could still, you know, we'd still have some ops to work with throughout the turn. Red Scare usually pretty obnoxious for the US to deal with on the first turn, but then we'd have to take a break. We'd lose tempo having to event CNS. Hmm. Um, this looks like a defector setup, so yeah, I definitely don't want to do purge. Oh, Marshall Plan. So, captured Nazis is out, as is Marshall Plan. Well, I've got some bad news for you. I'm going to be red five-year planning Europe. <clears throat> and I'm probably going to do a four-op coup of Iran, just to, um... You know, because we have that scoring as well, and we need that to go well. So, let's roll high. Ah, not the best, not the worst. But yeah, so now let's just focus on getting a decent Middle East scoring, hopefully a positive one. See if they coup back. Unfortunately, we don't have VR revolts. So let's see a low roll here. Well, could just drop Middle East. Um, leaves us fighting for uh, Pakistan. I think I just want to take Iran here. Um, 
Yeah, let's try that. See if, if they prioritize going into Pakistan, we might be able to get a uh, presenceless Middle East. Of course, now they're definitely going to be running, sprinting to Malaysia. Yeah, they're set up well in uh, Asia right now. I guess I could have could again to try to, you know, make my Asia prospects better. Would have wanted like a three or higher. Hmm. So could take Pakistan here. Uh, risking IP war. But I do want to be the first one in there. Do that. Middle East scores for one. It's not exciting, but something. Let's see if they how they do on the IP. Oh, nice. So that gave us a point. And then we'll score this for a point. <clears throat> and now we've got lots of ops to play with. Hopefully we don't see Korean War here. Um, honestly, the world's our oyster now that all the scoring cards are done. Could even go for something like... Uh, Eventing to Gaul, but I'd rather leave him in the deck before. Okay, so now my opponent's pretty committed to uh, dropping Defcon. Which means they're gonna do a coup on Iran. Um, but we're already in Pakistan, so that's okay. Yeah, so eventing to Gaul is interesting because then we get access to Algeria, but like I said, I want to leave it in the deck um, so that after the reshuffle, there are more red cards. Um, and yeah, Europe scoring is not going to matter, so let's try like, hmm. Do I take Iraq, maybe? That seems meh. I think at least South Korea, I know that much. One India is usually pretty good. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's just go second South Korea. So if we do something threatening, I don't know what it would be, um, then our opponent could be forked between having to lower DEF CON. Yeah, because I, I can't imagine they would want. So that is... Taking out of. Uh, Israel because um, if they coup Nasser and it you know goes even or it empties Egypt exactly then don't want them to have that adjacency and also Arab-Israeli war is already gone um, yeah I could draw special you know I could draw NATO and special and regret taking UK down to four that's certainly true
I don't know. It still seems like... This all just seems like normal stuff to do. I could go to India that way when Iran's cooed. Um, both of these are... Uh, yeah, because that way if I lose influence in Iran, it's still four plus on either IP war. So I believe it should be 410. We're going to see a coup of Iran here. Maybe I should have gone Israel there. Oh, yep. Cooing Nasser. Yep. That's why I took out of Israel and why I should have put into Israel. Yep, yep. Okay. Well, that's a great role for our opponent. So I think I'm going to just headline blockade. And then coup Egypt. Oh, interesting. Gonna have to delay on NATO because of special. Which means we only get to do a two op coup. So yeah, this South second South Korea influence should probably be in Israel. Okay, well we still hit a four op. Seems like D stall's still out there. What's our hold card? I think Defectors is our hold card. We could space from Mosin, but it doesn't look like from is going to be relevant. It looks like it's going to be one, two, three, four, and they'll just have one, two, three with from Mosin. Still best to leave my options open. Need a four or higher here. That's not great, but I really don't want to give special. Oh, perfect. So yeah, NATO's going to be our last play. We'll probably try to get Truman out of there. So if for whatever crazy reason we decide we want to jam West Germany or something. Korean War fails. Probably both of these, all of it's going into South Korea, isn't it? <sighs> What's more important? South Korea or sp special? I think South Korea is more important, yeah. Sorry to all those NATO spacers out there, but I, I like the long-term um, strength in, in Asia. I know it leaves us 
very ops poor, but we hold the China card in case they get more pushy. Warsaw. Uh, I don't want to challenge them in Europe when uh, Marshall's already evented. Wow, North, North Korea and South Korea. This is something else. Um, do I use the China card? I mean, CIA and Duck are still out there, but five-year plan would have to be a redraw. Actually, I don't even have any influence, and I don't have any influence for CIA yet. So yeah, Fidel's... So other two, so I do hate giving the China card. This means I have to like spend the whole turn over protecting Asia. Hmm. Because I want to, like, get into Libya, you know? I need ops for that. But if I lose this, then I definitely have to space for motion. I could hold for motion and then try to use it early on next turn. All right, so I need one into South Korea, potentially one into India. <clears throat> Holding these two, or spacing for motion or something, yeah. Oh, there's Fidel. So that's dangerous. So yeah, we are risking the uh, uh, auto loss here. If I draw CIA, my opponent draw draws and headlines duck and cover, redraws five-year plan, and we don't get destall, so we can't destall out of Cuba. That could be a game. Also, we have an out with, we, could, we have to also not draw UN intervention. Oh, there's CIA too, so that's a relief. So actually, let's hold IP war. special very sad very sad about that So 
13, 14. Defectors is in my hand. Olympic Games is in the discard. 13, it should be 13, 15. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, they, they're doing great in Africa. Hopefully we draw like a uh, decal next turn. That'd be awesome. Here's Romanian. Some destall fuel for us. Okay. So we did draw destall. And it looks like we're going to have to give CIA. So what does that look like? Oh, yeah, let's figure out their hand. Uh, defectors, IP war, duck and cover, USJ, D stall. So they have NTB, UN, D call, and Vietnam revolts. Hmm. Um, I think this is a D stall headline. I could also just headline. Uh, Asia scoring. Yeah, let's just do that. <clears throat> More special points. Yeah, that NORAD's costing me big time here. So we're just basically just spreading in South, uh, South Africa. Spacing, yeah. Oh, we have nuclear test ban. Sorry, not them. Yeah, because I didn't want to destall into night. Like now, I can still destall into Nigeria potentially. Asia scoring is gone, so it should be two fifteen. protect India, but I'm not too pressed about it. I think it's better to just uh, spread in the Middle East. Yeah, Asia's already scored. I could that could have been Syria too.
Maybe that should have been Syria. I just, yeah, I don't know why I didn't go Syria there. It's one more point. Actually does something instead of just setting up something. Yep, that was a mistake. So IP war for ops, space U, event U, and spread, 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 spread. Probably hold defectors to uh, space it next turn. So opponent should enter Columbia here. Yeah, why didn't I go Syria there? That was bad. Should take the Dom, take the Dom. Comic-Con, even more D-Stall influence. I don't know. So, if I just coo here... Everything's fine, like even a one is fine. Yeah, it looks like I'm not getting... Well, actually, no, I, I should just, yeah. Um, I should just install now. Um, What am I doing? I'm like goofy right now. I think I want to leave adjacency to Greece. So I think I just want to do this, and that way they don't get to coup. They don't get Milops this turn. That's the exciting part. So let's just do that. I was like, oh, I should coup, coup with Pakistan. But then I was like, wait, they get to coup back, and then they get a point. So Argentina and Syria priorities. I mean, obviously, they're just going to drop Middle East right now if they have it. So we're ahead on the score, but lots of good scorings for my opponent.
I mean, they have to space. We have to space, they have to space. Generally, don't think highly of this uh, move into Ecuador, usually, yeah. Ah, De Gaulle. I'm glad I left you in the deck, sir. For some reason, I mean, I don't know, maybe you didn't do anything. Um, should I overprotect something here? <laughs> I could overprotect Brazil because, like, usually Brazil means control of uh, Venezuela. Might come to regret that. We'll see. They're like throwing their ops around. We do need to get some action in Africa for sure, though. Yeah, maybe that should have been Brazil. Because like our next two ARs are pretty spoken for. UN and decal. <clears throat> Man, they fortress Africa for sure here. That's spooky. At least Middle East is where it's supposed to be now. So they're holding Vietnam revolts. We might actually get a point into Southeast Asia. Yeah, a poke of uh, Brazil is probably what our opponent should do, and that's our fault for not overprotecting it. Yep. Should have overprotected and put a set of wing in Saudi. Okay. We got Brush War. Love to see Brush War. NORAD. Whatever on NORAD. Puppet, no longer super relevant. Brezhnev could be the headline. Alliance for Progress. John Paul, not super relevant. Colonial Rearguards, glad we have it, not them. And Nixon. Okay. Um, yeah, it's really just like Brush War or... Uh, Brezhnev. And Brezhnev gives us like one, two, three, four ops. Like, not that many ops. Hmm. We'll let them flip. Yeah, we'll let them flip and then we'll brush Brazil. Ah! 
VOA. What a disaster. <clears throat> So I think I want to coup Angola here. Could give them the coup. Yeah, let's try this. So now, hopefully they refurl Brazil. And then we, or they coup Brazil, and then, yeah. It's just Africa so damn bad. What can we do? Yeah, I don't know. Losing the coup there is pretty brutal. And decal already gone. Yeah, Africa is going to be a problem. If they could also just drop South America right now. VOA is rough. These ops in Saudi Arabia were not efficient. But the crunch into Venezuela made it easier to make the north half of South America VOA proof, so that's nice. Shuttle. Well, at least I don't have to worry about uh, Panama Canal or OAS as much at this point. 
I do get double space. Ugh, oh, double space under Brezhnev, though. It feels so weak. CRG doesn't actually do that much. Yeah, with all the unscored regions, we're like even, up seven, down one, down six, down one. Things aren't looking, yeah. Liberation theology. So I guess I'll hold NORAD. Space. Hmm. I think I just want a coup camera in right now. Maybe I'll have some problems. What should be in the discard still? John Paul, no. Here's Surrey. Here's a Surrey. Shuttle is not in the discard. That's, oh, it does live in the discard? That's so weird. Oh, because it wasn't invented. He played it, I didn't. So, bear trap's still out there. Camp David Accords, five year plan. Hopefully I can five-year plan Africa. That would be awesome. Got two ARs left. Socialist governments. Just space puppets again? That feels so bad. I think I just, yeah, I don't want to get too head, too ahead on the space track. 
I don't mind starting like a coup war in Central America. I don't think that there's any region that this gives them access to aside from Nicaragua and Haiti that I'm super concerned about. This is bad for CI scoring for sure. That's true. Guatemala, Nicaragua, Haiti. I think I might be taking too much time. Oh, that was unexpected. And then I'll just coot Columbia. Awkward Brezhnev, very awkward Brezhnev. Would be great if we could get something here, something going. OPEC, at least scoring. Five-year plan would be an awesome draw. But yeah, we've got grain sales and subs, OAS to think about. <clears throat> okay, cool. I'll take it. Quinta, ABM, South African, Willy Brandt, Middle East scoring, Bear Trap, and R Man. So, uh, ABM alert, or I mean, Missile Envy alert, yeah. This will be useful in Africa. Camp David, okay. So, What do I want to do here? Like, Thank you. 
That's a much more reasonable score there. I don't think I want to fill Egypt in for the extra Middle East point. So many priorities here. Middle East scoring, get taking Botswana, R manning before they place a dot. I think the priority should be Botswana. But it's hard to say. Yeah, that was a good play by them. Okay, well in that case, this becomes the priority. We could use Che to hit these two. I think I just score Middle East here. Then I can start getting, well, then I can space a bear trap and then I can get aggro. So I want to be able to junta in uh, Central America next turn, I think. Amazing. So now I want to do this instead. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use Chafer Ops here. And then, sucks, I'm going to have to do the long term NORAD thing. I 
just want to give my opponent as little time to fill Canada as possible. And if they, yeah, they're probably going to go OAS soon. Portuguese. I could have also spaced NORAD. Anyway, now the scorings are looking better. Just grain scales is very scary now. But you know, we could just win before it all comes crashing down. <laughs> Unlikely, though. A lot of ways for our opponents to opponent to make points here. But who knows, you know, we could get Central or Africa and be well positioned. Oh nice. Love seeing a China card. Love seeing a China card. Can we win this turn? Probably. So power is a likely hit. I don't want NORAD to activate, so we're going to do Junta. And does Panama make more sense? Because then they can't OAS into Guatemala. Anyway, I only need central for like one point. I think we're good on kitchen. One small step doesn't give them any points. We hold their sources of points.
Yeah. So what? That's not worth any points. Okay, so we need points. I guess I could have put two into Cuba. I can use the China card for that if necessary. We have an extra removed card. Oh, this gives us an, a point, doesn't it? Um, so we can OPEC uh, or CA. So let's just do uh, Central America. All right, thanks everyone for tuning in. I'm now 2-0 in the RTSL. Um, feel free to uh, stop watching now. I'm just going to chat with my opponent. But if you want to hang out, we can. Um, you can kind of watch the process of me, uh, how I uh, upload the videos, make my uh, thumbnails, and all that stuff. And by <coughs> buffering the end time of the video, then there's less of a spoiler. Like if the video doesn't end exactly if the game doesn't end exactly at the length of the video you have less of like an idea as to like what's happening uh as you watch um okay so first thing we want to do is start uploading the video oh I can't do that unless I stop recording. <laughs> Lol. OK, well, at the very least, we can um, report the match. That could be fun. So let's see here. Um, submit form. This was the RTSL. Um, let's see. League, the league. Um, so this was K zero two nine. See if our opponent wrote anything. I played as the USSR, my opponent, USSR won. The game ended on turn six from plus 20 VP. And now we can see our new rating. All right, we are now 39th in the world until uh, we play our next game, at least. Very happy about that. And thanks for tuning in. And please leave a comment about um, how those ops in Saudi were terrible <laughs> or anything else you can think of. Uh, have a good one.